Let my music take me where my heart wants to go. Hey, this is Lisa for TheBuzzAbout.com. Today I'm joined by Susan Werner, right outside of Philadelphia for the Concert Under the Stars series, which you played several times. And usually it's Under the Stars. Yeah. But right now we're under a roof. Yeah. But sometimes there are actual stars in the sky, and it gets all romantic and magical. And tonight it's in the gorgeous township building. Overstatement. It's in the township building. <laughs> Is the latest addition. This is the new project. To the Susan Werner Pantheon. There you go. Yeah, that's the word I prefer to use whenever I can. Yeah, I, yep. no, I would I would agree with the, it, the wording, yeah. wording of that. Um, can you explain a little bit because of the concept behind classics? Um, the concept is uh, pop songs from the 60s and 70s done with um, a, a small chamber music orchestra and um, so it's classical classics, classical pop classics. And um, it was great fun to do the arrangements. My producer and I sat and worked with um, string samples that he had in the library from the Boston Pops. And we just sat and arranged things for string quartet, um, for French horn and clarinet and oboe and English horn. And it was a great deal more fun than it sounds in the abstract description of it. We actually had a great time with it. We had to steer clear of the Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes tendencies to make jokes out of all kinds of tunes from the 60s that deserve to be made into jokes. Um, the extreme psychedelica and White Rabbit and acid trips and such. And we steered toward the songs that we felt had a little more something, a little more heft to them, like um, Marvin's, Marvin Gaye's Mercy Me and Paul Simon's Hazy Shade of Winter. And we, we wove pieces of classical music into these arrangements where it made sense and where it made and where it gave it a little more emotional impact. And it was very rewarding to do, and, and this year I've been traveling with a cellist. So we're making our own kind of pop chamber music in live shows all around the country, including King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. There you go. Well, one of my favorite tracks is Bob Marley's Waiting in Vain, mm -hmm. and you take Eric Satie's A Melody. Mm -hmm. So Should we play I, it? Let's play so, it for people. Okay, so here we go, right? How does I, this work? Yeah. We'll find out. I, yeah, see, it's going to work. Like this. This is this well, is the melody. Well, here's my it? thing. Oh. Eric Eric Satie is a late 19th, early 20th century French composer. So I think Eric Satie, Bob Marley, king of reggae. Right. So, it's, <laughs> so a natural match. It is uh, a natural of sorts. If you've been gondraying away the afternoon, I guess. Yeah. So here's the Eric. Right here's the Satie melody. Everybody knows this. Beginning piano students know this too, right? It's, um, for some kind of mood. And that's what the project's all about. If that doesn't sell classics... <laughs> well, no, we're going on QVC I, next. <laughs> QVC. There you go. Marie Osmond, Suzanne Summers, they build empires. It could be the Werner Empire. No, you're, you know, you're, uh, this is, I'm going to look into this, the QVC thing. No, it's, Paul and Abdul can make it. Right. I think you could. I need, I need a, a couple, couple pieces of jewelry. And a couple and drinks. And then Then I can be Paul and Abdul. Yeah. Too. You were taking allergy medication. I was. Allegedly. A, wah, in a um, bottle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, all right. You played Falcon Ridge Folk Festival. Yesterday. Recently. Yes. Okay, yes. yesterday. Yeah. How was that experience? It was great. We had a great day. Friday night we got rained out because it was huge, there was huge thunderstorms coming through. So Friday night they just canceled all the evening programming. But yesterday was glorious, and to have 7,000 people out on a hillside, sun, perfect, very still, and everybody was just sitting there listening, like an audience that listens to lyrics. 
listens to the words you've worked hard to put together and whatever you have to say. They, they appreciate how with, with the craft you use to, to put your songs together and to write every line. It's very rewarding, very magical. And then in the afternoon, late afternoon, we had a Paul Simon workshop. Everybody played Paul Simon tunes. We had a house band. We all got up. We're doing Mother and Child Reunion. We're doing Cecilia. <laughs> and uh, people are up and dancing. It must have been like 4,000 people on the hillside just up and going. And um, to be a part of a community like that that gets into the music and responds to it like that, I mean, it's fantastic. I have a dream life. I have a dream life. Mm. Well put. Um, okay, you lived in Philadelphia for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Few favorite things about the city? Favorite section, something like that. KYW News Radio 1060. KYW 1060. Give us 22 minutes. Give us 22 minutes. We'll give you the world. I love that. Westbound on the Schuylkill, we have a slowdown near Gulf Mills. Is that right? Gulf? Isn't it always near yeah. Gulf? Yeah. There's always that. Absolutely. Right. And there's the 202 backup at 202 King of Prussia. The backup. They're always the same damn backup. Um, and uh, Wawa, of course. I'm a, um, I'm a devotee of Wawa. I believe in Wawa. Fresh dairy, uh, cigarettes, and a Duraflame. And that's all you really need for a great date. You know? Uh, I, yeah, well, we can see about that later. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. You're going to ask me, so, ask me out? I'm going to go ahead. Ask to Wawa. <laughs> Chase Utley. Is that okay. the answer? Chase Utley. No. Okay. Chase okay. and Worth. Chase and Worth? We'll share it. We'll, okay. we'll share it. Right. No, this is a little serious. This Ryan, is the Ryan Howard. This is the hit okay. that she's naming Philadelphia Phillies for right. those not in the know. Uh, World Series champion. Sorry about those Cubs. Oh. Oh my. There goes the Wawa date. Okay. <laughs> Question number one. Philadelphia was home to the first computer in 1946. True or false? At the University of Pennsylvania? True! Ding ding ding! Yes. One down. Okay, question two is a little harder. In what year was the Liberty Bell brought back to Philadelphia by a 700 wagon caravan after it was placed in hiding from the British? You can look at the answers. 1776, 1778, 1765 or 1789? 1789, because it was after it was after the Constitution was signed. It was after late. 1789. You're incorrect. Oh, was it after 1776 though? 1778. So it was after 1776. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's like a half a point. Mm, okay, thanks. Question three, oddly enough, is what is Wawa? The Wawa. So can you... Yes, it's a it's a local convenience store, and Wawa means goose in the Lenape Indian language. Is that good? Do you even know the answer to that? I, I'm a native Philadelphian. Did I just out trivia you? Did you know it's Lenape, isn't it? Lenape, Native I, Americans. I Lenape. So. Ding ding ding! That's why there's a big goose on the front. And then you've answered this, but can you pronounce? Skookum. Which is? It's the big, uh, it's the, one of the rivers that runs through Philadelphia. Schuylkill meets the Delaware. At this junction, Philadelphia was founded. And it's also the name of um, the expressway, also known as the Shirkill Distressway. Did I get that right? <laughs> you did get that right. All right. Can you pronounce? War, is it water with an R? Water. It's, it's, it's water. Water. With a D. Water although with I, a D. Although you've lost your Phil, any Philly accent. No, no, I still got it. Oh, I still got it. Oh yeah, Penny back. We're going down now over. We're, we're driving up the boulevard. I still got it. I still got it. Because my road manager, she coaches me on how to do it. And it's, it's not sideways, it's vertical. I learned how to do it. It's vertical. And, oh yeah, get your tips done. Yeah, I still got it. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to Wawa? What, what, is, what is the current mayor's name of Philadelphia? Michael Nutter. Oh, bing, bing, bing. I would look for a key to the city sometime soon. How about just a, a tasty cake? Crimp it. Butterscotch crimp it. <laughs> <That'll> <laughs> <be>. <laughs> mercy, mercy, mercy.